Welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping to the Green Aqua Gallery in Budapest, Hungary. What are you doing there behind the aquarium? You can't hold me down. Check it out. Which, there's nothing behind it. I know, I'm just trying to get away from this video. You, you, you can't hold me down. You, 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 you can't hold me down. Pete Roscoe is here with us, guys, because we thought that we really need to show you how an aquarium is made by someone who has some experience in the uh, aquascaping. Still get misidentified, some think that I speak. What's that? That's my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> shaky, shaky hands? Uh, yeah, I have some experience. All right. Tommy, do you have some experience? No, I've never done this before. Tommy has never done this before, but I think he's going to help Peter get this aquarium ready for you guys in the next 15 minutes. Go! We're going to make it. We're going to make it. I kept my soul no matter how hard they try to take it. It's actually f***. Okay, buddy. All right, Jesus. Does any friend this car work? No, it just got this morning. You can fade it. Listen, you can't hold me down. You can hold me down. Thought you were good at driving. You, you, you can't hold me down. Where's, where's my boy Victor? Listen, you can't hold me down. You can't hold me down. You, you, you can't hold me down. You, 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 you. Well, you know, when I say I'm an amateur, I really am. I've done three tanks, and I'm coming on to do my fourth tank. You can find scissors in there. Okay, that's how amateur I am. I don't even know how to use scissors. But uh, no, I'm. My father's always had tanks, and he ended up getting someone to do them for me. And Tommy's like become a friend. I mean, I don't really like the guy, but he knows what he's doing when it comes to aquascaping. So he comes around and helps as much as he can. Jesus, Tommy. <laughs> but uh, but that's it. So I've been pestering these guys how to actually make an aquarium properly, and uh, finally I get to do it. So, right. full bag? No, just half of it for the start and then we're gonna... There's how much of an amateur I am. Okay, yeah, you can go full bag. So I was right. Who's the amateur here? Middle in the back, not the front of the tank. We have 15 minutes, Tommy, we've got to be quick. Should be. You want it more at the back, yeah? Yep. And, uh, I'm just front. happy to serve you, Tommy. Front should be flat. Is that flat enough for you? Yep, like that. We've actually prepared some hardscape before uh, in the back area where we store all the hardscapes, the wood and the stone. Got a flower for Victor. Where's Victor? Victor! Uh, we're gonna go with iron wood today. Okay, let's go. Yeah, so we are building a tank with the roots. What? Have you got any cable ties so we can tie stuff together? Yep. Just go crazy. So this is the, the wood that will sink, yeah? It should sink from the start. Ready? Okay, let's go in there. Here's one I made earlier. Now I'm just sort of guessing. Something like that. Should be fine for the start, then we can adjust later. Peter, can you tell us where you're from originally? Because uh, I know you live in Budapest, right? Yeah, I live in Budapest, but yeah, I'm, I'm from the UK. I grew up in Middlesbrough, Northeast, around there, but my parents really didn't like me, so I left as soon as I could. Been here for seven years. My first aquarium was actually when I was maybe five or six years old, believe it or not. I, I, and I mean, it was a very basic aquarium with a goldfish that we wanted a local fair. Um, and yeah, that's it. But my father's spent thousands and thousands on aquariums, saltwater tanks and stuff. And every time we go on holiday, we come back and it's a complete revamp. He's got too much money and I don't think he wants to leave me any in the will. But yeah, I always was fantasized about the, I mean, nothing on this level, but you know, it's, it's just relaxing to look at an aquarium. Unless you come to my house and look at my aquarium, which is just depressing. Can you show it to us, the picture? Uh, I'll tell you what, if this video gets 50 likes, just 50 likes, I'll, I'll share, the, share the picture. How's that? 
Easy enough. That's fair enough, no? That's an easy task. All right, 250 likes, there you go. <laughs> Victor! Came all the way from England, he's not even here. Victor! So, what's next, Captain next Tommy? As uh, we're going to start planting, and actually we should go from the back to front. So I have the plants for you right have over you there. Have seen Tommy's black magic? No one knows what's inside there. Uh, we actually got it from Yuri's a few weeks ago when he was here at the grand opening. Uh, it's some gloves if you don't want to get your hands dirty. I think there was something else in that tub before that, wasn't there, Tommy? Yeah, there was. We're not going to use it today because we don't use any soil in the tank. So this is basically the most useful when you use some soil and uh, it gets underneath your nails. What do you mean? Are you going to guys plant actually in the sand? Nobody does that. Yeah, we do. We've got some ADA multi buttons. So we're going to have some fertilization for the roots uh, in the sand itself. See, there's another reason why I'm an amateur. Yeah. I, I just planted it in the sand and Hoped. let them die. Hoped. Uh, and I think these grow quite tall. This is going to be uh, pretty, pretty red. This is uh, Rotala Valiki. Rotala Valiki. Valiki. So this is Rotala Valiki. Yep. Which is a Danish STD. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, another stem plant for the back, which is, uh, yeah, that's going to be orangish. It's okay. uh, Rotala Vietnam. It does look like an STD as well. <laughs> And then we have uh, Tonina. Tonina. Which is gonna be uh, full green. So you should have a green to orange to red in the scape itself. Okay, so you want us left to right, green to red. Whichever way you like it. Here's one thing I've always struggled with. Okay. Which is taking off this foam bit. Okay. Because after weeks and weeks and weeks, I mean, this one's gonna be quite easy. I'm gonna grab this here for you so but after it doesn't fall in the tank. After weeks and weeks, I always find bits of sponge floating in my tank, along with loads of dead fish. Now what's best here is just basically plopping the roots straight down. Uh, yep, you should actually take it to two or three smaller bunches, so okay. you can spread it uh, a bit more along the long side of the tank. You know, if someone was watching this, it would sound very sexual. You gotta spread it and... Geez, black magic and... You call me dirty and magic. Victor! <sighs> Can't work with these amateurs. Victor! This is not about you. We gonna make it. Should we put some of this fertilizer in? Looks like rabbit shit. Yeah, and you should put this down uh, right to the glass, a bit more inside. Yeah, yep. Right we're gonna, down. Yep, right down. As hard as you can. Okay. And then another one uh, in about 20, 10, 15 centimeters. Yep, yeah, about there. Now, am I right in saying the more fertilizer you use, the better the plants will be throughout the longevity of the tank? Um, well, mostly, yeah. But actually, if you use more fertilizer, uh, it's gonna be uh, you're gonna have enough fertilizer for a longer time. And how long does this last? Uh, you should uh, replace these every three or four months. Because it's not a proper fertilizer; it's just. And you can just replace it by just uh... just putting another one in. Okay, so these these don't stick there; they get released in the water, so they disappear. We actually put the root sticks in, so now we can start planting. I would recommend you to grab a shorter pin. And uh... here's another tip for you: don't use your fingers. <laughs> I've done that. You've tried it. I've done that too much. Again, it sounds really in innuendos, doesn't it? Use your fingers. Um, so I'm going roughly where I put the fertilizer then, Tommy, is that right? Yeah, basically uh, when, you, when you're planting the background, you just have to be aware of the sides of the tank. So don't put directly on the side, leave at least five or six centimeters from the side so you can build it up and it's not just a wall in the back. Got you. Okay. So around here? Yep, should be fine. And just put it down as much as you can. Yeah. As much as I can. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's going to grow out to the light, so okay. it's not going to be a problem. Now what do we do? We plant them, I, know, I think we spray it. I think I've seen that on your channel somewhere. Do we spray it first or do we plant all the plants? Actually, we should have sprayed it before. So you should get the soil wet. You're teaching me bad habits. Yeah, it doesn't really matter if you plant in sand, but if, you would, if we would use some soil, 
it would definitely be the first thing to spray it so it gets moisty and it's much easier to plant in it. So is this pumped? No idea, try it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it works. <laughs> Thank you very much. And how much should I... Uh... It should get all moist. All moist, all moist, okay. I'm not gonna make a comment. So, let's move these over here. So these ones are gonna be the focal point in the middle. Yeah, exactly. Super. And again, all the way down to the bottom, as much as they go. Yep. Perfect. Pushing the boat, perfect. I think that's the first compliment you've ever given me. <laughs> no way. Other than you like my shoes. The shoes? Yeah. I did say that. No, no. No way. <laughs> Victor! Okay, so sorry, we're, uh, we skipped a bit here. We're on to the Danish STD, the Rotala. Rotala? Yeah. Right, yeah. Yep. And what's the second part? Walla chili. <laughs> yeah, good enough. Yeah, and uh, this is going to go on the far right, so we should have a nice separated colours. I can see Tommy's blood boiling at the way I'm doing this, but... No, it should be fine. Yep, perfect. And actually use the second... What's this? <laughs> That's the other way around. There's a rookie mistake. I, plant, <laughs> I planted this one upside down. Because why not? Just seeing if it would work. Yeah, I was curious. That's one of the good things about aquascaping is curiosity, you know? I'm always experimenting with my fish tank. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. with fish, shrimps, turtles, frogs. And that's the same tank. In the same tank, yeah, seriously. That's maybe why it never works, but I just can't trust Tommy 100%. Yeah, and when the wife says that she wants turtles, then you're gonna get some. So what's the secret to a good aquarium? Uh, I know if you're watching this video this far, the secret probably is completely do the opposite of what I'm doing so far. Um, but no, I, I, to be honest, I think patience. For me, it's, I just want to get the, you know, I, I, like my, I like the plants and stuff, but I do like the fish, the fish moving around. So for me, it's like getting the fish in as quickly as possible, which means I tend to rush things. So I'd say if you want a really good aquarium, take a couple of weeks and time. Um, if you just want to go gung-ho, just throw water in and fish and see who survives. But uh, and come, come in and ask these guys, obviously at Green Aqua, they do help a lot. My, my issue I have is I never listen. So, you know, it'd all be different if I came in and met Victor first when I came here, because my aquariums would probably be good. Not that Tommy's got inability, just look at him. You can't trust that. You can't trust that. Victor! So this one's called easy. <laughs> no, the other words. Microsurum. It, it says easy on the uh, on the card. Tropica notes all the plants by uh, easy, medium, and uh, difficult. I think the third one. So how many light it needs, how many CO2 it needs. Is if you're starting out and you have an idea in mind on you know tank budget and stuff is. Make sure you don't do it step by step because I started with a built-in filter. Then I realized that was rubbish. Then I wanted crystal clear water, so I needed more plants, but then I needed more CO2. And then, so just find out, you know, do you want crystal clear water with plants and fish? Find out how big it is, how many filters you need, what lights you need, that's another thing, you know? And, uh, and yeah, I've got enough spares at home now to open my own green aqua. And you'll see me on YouTube competing with these guys in the next six weeks. Tommy's identified his favorite hole. Let's put that in there. Just don't tell my wife. We need to edit that out, all right? <laughs> <laughs> and now, another challenge. The in vitro plants. I'm always up for a challenge. I actually got you some water, where you can rinse them. Well, I should at least try to open and... <laughs> yeah? Basically, all the rest of the plants are uh, small leaves, so there's just... It's up now, to you where you, you want to Would you recommend for 
pleasing reasons to mix all the plants in randomly. Yep. As nature would intend, yeah? Yeah, exactly. That's always drive me crazy. You can't take my pride from me. I'm cool with the way God made me, yeah. But the way you react, I can tell that you hate your intent. You call me dirty, uneducated, illegal, and fat. We're to talk to Black Lives Matter. And I said Latinos do too. And they told me that's, that's modern art right there. 500 likes if you want me back in the video for me to select fish. And I'm only gonna select fish that'll upset Tommy. Okay? So what name are we giving this one then, Tommy? Is this the one we're gonna let the audience decide? Yep, everyone who has an idea, just give us a comment for the name of this plant. It's actually Staurogin Repens. What's the name for it? I'm gonna call it Victor. Victor, okay, yeah. Victor, got a flower for Victor. There you go, buddy. <laughs> There you go. Looks good. Enjoy. Have a great day, Victor. Happy Thanks birthday. Thanks, not so big. Can fit next to my monitor. Yeah, Tommy likes it, not so big. Enjoy. Thanks, buddy. I love you. <laughs> Doesn't like you. All right, Peter is, uh, I think, ready with the help of Tommy. Thank you. And? Still the shaking. Uh, oh. Do you have blue on you? <laughs> no, 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 I wore gloves. Did you not watch the video? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't want to touch Tommy's gloves. It's very, it's, it was a very good job. Thank you so much. And uh, we were wondering if you guys would like to buy this aquarium. I mean, I, I don't know, we'll see. But if someone wants to buy the tank, then I guess drop a price below. We start an auction, what, 1,000 for it? All right, we can do that. <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, thank you, Peter, for being here with us. If, uh, if you liked our channel, you can uh, subscribe to it. Now we have a subscribe button on the video because apparently Victor told us Victor told us that, that he couldn't find it uh, underneath the video. <laughs> that way, I think. It there's is that. The, and then that. there's the bell on the other side. Well, I never saw the bell. <laughs> you should well, check never the mind. Bell. Never mind. Anyways, thanks for being with here with us. Oh, what? What am I saying? It, put a comment below if you want him in the next video. Because, yeah. I mean, he's pretty amateur, right? And finally, we can get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys. Until next week. Goodbye. Cheers. We gonna make it, ooh, we gonna make it. I kept my soul no matter how hard they try to take it. Ooh, we gonna make it, ooh, we gonna make it. God had it now by my side, ain't no way that you can fade it. Listen, you can't hold me down. You can't hold me down. You, you, you can't hold me down. You, 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 you can't hold me down. You can't hold me down. You, you, you can't hold me down. You, 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 you can't hold me down. Yeah.